rainbows, butterflies, unicorns. <laughs> what am I on about? Hello, hi, Sophie here. But yes, all of those joyful things because today I have a corker of a show for you because I have not one, but two watches to show you from the incredible independent watchmaker that is Nomos and the Club Campus. Yes, let's go. Picture this, it's the year 1990, two months after the Berlin Wall has fallen. He was a man, we'll say he's good looking, called Roland Schwertner, a photographer from Dusseldorf. And I can't say Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf? Maybe if I say it in an accent, Dusseldorf? There. He was in Dusseldorf and he had the bright idea to create a watch brand. And two years later, he had hired Suzanne Gunther to create the first Nomos design, inspired by Bauhaus. Although, let's just skip forward a little bit to 2005, because that is when they really started to mean business, and they launched their first in-house manual winding movement called Alpha. Which leads me to these, because inside these absolutely delightfully colorful club campuses is the alpha manual winding movement. So that's the history part over. And now I just wanna talk about the watches. Let's have a look at the specs, shall we? So Nomos sent me these hilariously professional gloves, so I thought I'd use them. So here we have the non-stop red club campus, 36 millimeters, 8.2 millimeters thick, 47.5 millimeters lug to lug with a domed sapphire crystal. And here is the Club Campus in endless blue, which is all of the above. And inside is housed the in-house Alpha Caliber manual winding movement. On the dial, it has a California dial with superluminova, with small seconds and no date, just pure, beautiful, fun, coloured dial. Winner! So when I first saw these two watches, I was overjoyed. As you may be able to tell, I love bright colours, I love fun watches. But Nomos goes that step further because they have the in-house movement built from scratch, a piece of steel basically, and they create the whole thing there and that is magical as well. Um, and when I spoke to Nomos, who kindly loaned me these watches, I didn't know what to do because I love the red and I love the blue. This is the non-stop red and this is the endless blue and I love them both. And I thought, well, oh, oh mm, mm. so I just said, can I have both of them? Because I really, really want to see how they work with my wardrobe. And let me tell you, these are one of the most versatile duo of watches that I have come across. If you need a summer watch, these are it, depending on your preference. But on that note, it's fashion montage time. Dooby dooby doo, and it's Battle of the Colours. It's World Book Day, and I am the Hungry Caterpillar. Just kidding. But look, it's magic. I've changed the colour of the watch. Dooby dooby doo. Oh yeah, going to Tiffany's house for breakfast, don't you know? What looks better, blue or red? You decide. Dooby dooby doo. Oh yeah, white party on the beach. Who's been to one of those? Is it blue or is it red? Jesus, I'm magic. Dooby dooby doo. Oh yeah, red carpet because I'm on those all the time. Well, I've got a Persian rug downstairs. Does that count? Dooby dooby doo. Do. Yep, I'm going places, literally going to a cruise. And I'm on the captain's table because look how fabulous I am. Blue or red, they both look great. Dooby dooby doo. We've all seen them, those girls pretending to read a book in a cafe. Today that's me, wearing the endless blue. I didn't do a battle with these ones because I think it just looks good with blue. There you go, dooby dooby doo. Same with this one. I'm a flower, I'm a petal. 
I'm at a garden party wearing this pop of colour. Dooby dooby doo. Off to Sicily. She has to be in yellow because I'm a lemon and I'm wearing an orange on my wrist. Dooby dooby dow. Yep, still in Sicily because I am Dolce. I am Gabbana. I am a big orange. Whew, that was the most ambitious fashion montage yet. And look, Nomo sent me chocolate. Yes, it was delicious by the way. Delicious. Okay, so things I love about the watches. The colour. They stand out, they're bright, they're beautiful. They're simple, so they would still go with so many different outfits and they are the pop of colour if you want to be very pared down or they equally stand up to a colourful outfit such as this. Um, and I'm sorry, if you're buying a colourful watch, you are thinking about what you're going to wear, so that's my two cents on that. Secondly, I actually really like the lug length on this Nomos. Remember, I have a 13.5 millimeter wrist. This is a 36 millimeter Nomos, but it wears more like a 38 millimeter. So just be wary of that. If you have small wrists, do not go for the larger size. But I like the way it fits on my wrist. It curves nicely. And I, I literally have child size wrists. So if it works for me, it will work for anyone. And the crown, it works well. It's slightly elongated, so it's easy to use. I've definitely seen better crowns, but no problem there. You can have a clear case back. This one has a closed case back. Um, but I think if I was to buy the watch, I would pay extra money to have a clear case back, an exhibition case, because you're buying the watch a lot for that wonderful in-house movement, so you kind of want to see it. Another positive thing I have to say is the loom. I wasn't expecting it to be this good, but it is. Once it's charged, you can clearly see it in the dark, and it's, I hate to say it, a lot better than my Rolex OP loom. So there you go. I could never tell the time in the dark. I know my o Rolex OP is a 26 millimeters. So it's very small, but the loom is pretty rubbish to be honest. Whereas this, it works. Definitely not the best loom I've seen, but it is a good loom and I was impressed by the quality of it. So that's another pro for the club campus. Another positive for the club campus range in general is that really awesome California dial. It just adds fun to the whole piece because you would look at it from a distance and not really notice and then you look at it and it's like, oh, Cali dial. And again, it just adds to the fun, lighthearted way the watch wears. And you don't see a California dial every day and you definitely don't see a reasonably priced California dial every day. I'm looking at you, Panerai. But yeah, I love it. I love that it is. And I know some people don't like a California dial. Why don't you like a California dial? What's not to love? But there you go, hooray for the California dial. So I do love that too. Let's talk about things that definitely I think could be improved and that is the strap. The standard strap it comes on, which is a vegan velour type material, but I can see it getting quite tatty quite quickly. In fact, just in the time that I've had it, it's already gotten a bit tatty and it's not like I've worn it a lot. And it doesn't have quick release spring bar, so that makes it really annoying to get off because it's actually quite stiff. Even as a normal spring bar, the spring bar they use is stiff. So. And I know they use a quick release in other models, so I, I don't know why that's not across the spectrum of normal swatches. So I definitely would have a minimum of a quick release strap because it has 100 meters water resistance. I'm gonna say it again. If you have a watch that has that, then you should be having quick release at least so you can easily change the strap to a rubber strap or a NATO or the bracelet. 
uh, obviously they sell the bracelet as well at extra cost uh, which is probably what I would go for if I was buying from them but I think as standard I would prefer the watch to come on a rubber strap in a funky colour that complements the watches. That would just be really awesome uh, because 100 meters water resistance, a summer watch, when you sweat, rubber strap, absolute winner. So that's my, my two cents on that. Come on, rubber strap, change your strap, even the NATO strap, not this strap, no. No. Next, as I compare the two colors, you have almost color matched orange small seconds hand. And I know Britt Pierce touched on this with her review. And I tend to agree that it would probably work better in a different color. Not even the turquoise. Personally, I would after thinking about it, I would go white on this to keep the dial clean because um, I actually like that it's monotone. So I would, I would have a white small seconds on there and it would just keep in with the design of the watch. Um, this works with the orange, but again, I wouldn't mind a white small seconds, but I know it is the design language of the club campus, but it is quite hard to see on this red. So it's another negative for the red color that would again, as you have a small seconds complication, you kind of want to see the seconds. So it doesn't make that much sense from a design point of view, um, but there you go. Uh, they're clearly very married to their orange small seconds hand. So there's that. Well, I couldn't resist, could I? Another little chunk of my little cheeky chocky from Nomos. Mm. Lucky me. Now we reach the end. So there you have it. My overview of the Nomos Club Campus in endless blue and non-stop red. What's your favorite? And what did you think looked better on me? Because I kind of want to buy the watch, so I need your help. I think the red though, but maybe the blue? I don't know. And what did you think about my suggestions on the strap? I wanna know that too. And the small seconds. Do you agree? It's okay if you don't, but I would like to know. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Please subscribe and like and comment and then watch all my videos, that'll be great. And, and on that note, I'll say goodbye.